Now, folks, you're watching Deuce, and today we're going to compare and contrast the warranty service you get between Lee Precision reloading dies and those from RCBS. Now, both of these, both of these manufacturers, they manufacture a, a budget brand, a budget option. They are the budget option for reloaders out there. If you want to spend a ton of money, you go Dylan. But if you want to save some money, you can usually get away with using Lee or RCBS. But how good is their warranty service? Well, luckily, I've been sitting on a broken decapper die, actually bro broken decapper pin, in this eight millimeter die set from Lee Precision. You see right there, there should be, you know, there's a close up right there, but there should be a pin sticking out of there. There's a normal one, and there's what this one looks like. Obviously, it is broken off. And on my RCBS die set, it's my 300 blackout die set, and I stripped the, the case forming mandrel, I stripped that right off of the decapping rod. So contacting Lee Precision, it's very easy. You don't really even have to contact them. You go to the website, you find the web page of parts. Just go to the parts page on their actual website. I'll put that in the in the description below the video or not description below the video because that would be against YouTube rules. I'll put it in the comment section below the video. So you go down there, you go to their website and you find the parts that you need. They are free. It has a price tag on them, but when you go to checkout, it's just free, zero. But there's a caveat. They charge you $6.50 for shipping and handling. But there's no questions asked. They don't even have a place for you to, to answer any questions they might have. They don't, they don't care if it was user error. They don't care if you ran over it with your deuce and a half. They just don't care. Three days later, after I put in my warranty claim, which was just ordering the parts, I got two a bag of two eight millimeter mandrels and resizing resizing dies right there with the decapper pins already on there. They're one piece. They make this as one single piece, which should be pretty strong. If there's anything that says it's unbreakable, I can break it. So how does that experience contrast and compare with RCBS? Well, if you go on RCBS's website, you basically just have an option to send them an email. I guess state your case or whatnot. I decided to call them instead. And I basically got about halfway through describing what happened and what die this was on. I basically said it was 300 blackout and the mandrel, the forming mandrel, or resizing mandrel stripped off of the decapping rod. And right then, the customer service representative I was speaking to interrupted me and said this. You know exactly what you need, sir. So what I want to do here is I'm going to send you two complete decapper units. That's the rods, the expandables, and the pins, okay? One of them is going to be a short rod with an expandable that has the expander part of the uh, expander more toward the end of it where the pin comes out. The other one will be just like the one you had. It's going to be a long rod, the kind if you reach over your press, you're going to scratch the crap out of your, your arm. All right, sir, all I need is name, address, and phone number. You're coming to you at no charge. And three days after that phone call, I received this in the mail. As you can see behind it, there is two rods here. The old one, just like you said, there was, a, there was one that was the exact duplicate of what I broke already the upgraded version which he says works much much better i have no idea but i guess we'll find out because i'm going to <laughs> i did not stop reloading through in a blackout well i did for a second i'm gonna get right back on it this weekend so both rcbs and lee precision offer pretty much no questions asked lifetime warranties on their products lee precision cost you six dollars and fifty cents of shipping and they send it out to you free of, well, not free of charge. They send the part to you free, but you got to pay for the shipping and handling. A commercial base price, so it doesn't even have a price tag on it. Sometimes there's a price tag on this. I'm going to bet it costs them a lot less than $6.50 to ship this out to me. So they made a little money on it. They might have lost a little money. I'm not sure. They probably, probably broke even, more than likely. So Lee Precision gets $6.50 for their warranty service. RCBS is free. Free of charge, I talked to a real live person who knew exactly what I was talking about. Very well educated person on a phone, knew their product, knew their customer. Fantastic. RCBS warranty service is better than Lee Precision. 10 or 20 years ago, I always just told people, 
buy Lee Precision products because they are super cheap. They're by far the cheapest dye product out there and it's good enough to get by. And I told everyone to buy Lee dyes. And I have a whole, actually you can see it right there. That's an entire box. This is an entire box of Lee dyes. Look at that. I've got two more of these boxes in this, in this bunker. <laughs> but over time, the products from Lee Precision, uh, some of them are getting a lot better. The new designs that have coming out are, are more improved, are, are a better quality product. But also the prices, are going up. Many of the RCBS dyes have either stayed flat or even gone down a little bit. I don't know why. It's very rare that a, a company lowers their price tag, but RCBS has done that and remained a quality product. A good example of the, the quality differences is that the lock ring on the Lee Precision dyes, or unless you upgrade them with more money, are basically loose and they use an O-ring, just a rubber O-ring right there to tighten down and retain their position. Whereas RCBS dies, their lock ring actually locks, actually has a Allen screw there that locks down and they're made of steel. The, the lock ring is made of steel on the RCBS and it's aluminum on the Lee Precision. Of course, both die bodies and decapping rods and all that stuff are steel on both of them. Don't get me wrong. If you've got a ton of money to spend and you don't care about spending a good chunk of money, then go Dylan. Dylan dies and Dylan reloading equipment are the pinnacle. They are the best of the best out there for the most part, unless you go into commercial type stuff. They're pretty much the cat's meow of all reloading equipment, but you pay for it. Jesus. <laughs> but you pay for it. You pay for the Dylan experience. You pay for their, they also have a very excellent warranty service. I can't imagine their warranty service being any better than RCBS. You can't get any better than that unless they come by personally and give you a hug afterwards. And I don't think Dylan does that. Now, if you look behind me, you'll notice I have a ton of red equipment back here because the Lee presses are still a fantastic value and very, very good, especially the turret press. The four stage turret press right here from Lee is excellent, especially for the money, but it's also excellent in its own, its own right. Avoid Lee's progressive presses unless you are okay with tinkering with things. They work, but they take a lot of tinkering. In conclusion, the best budget option for a reloader is to use a Lee turret style classic press and fill that press with RCBS dies. Well, guys, here for me today, if you wanna stay on the Deuce and Guns channel, go ahead and click on one of these two videos right here. And that'll keep you on the channel. If you have any comments, questions, or show it is, leave that in the comment box of the video. And of course, you guys have a great day. See ya.